this up. I think we should be live by now. And indeed we are. Hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is March 4th, 2021. And we're doing a cooking live stream. I'm gonna show you guys our family recipe for uh, beef stroganoff it's uh, uh different than most of the ones that i've seen uh online i did a little search and a lot of the ones online have pasta and whatnot but we're going with uh french fries and uh, i'm just gonna put a little tape on the camera here uh, while we wait for people to roll in so it doesn't move i forgot to do this part of it and uh it's uh, unorthodox i guess but it's absolutely delicious it's a recipe that uh, uh i've made it before but i made it with my mom i remember we made it with my mom i haven't made it solo so this is the first time i'm making it solo i called up my mom yesterday talked to her about it and uh got a little pointers this morning as well and uh i'm excited i haven't eaten it for a long time uh so and this is a feast and gang this isn't uh this is more indulging food it's made of meat fat potatoes like uh carbohydrates okay and it's got a lot of onions in it <laughs> okay uh aside from that let me give everybody my little intro as people roll in if you want to know what this work is about i am i am on patreon Oop, there it is patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this work is about which is basically layered on mathematics and the food stuff the cooking stuff is definitely going to be layered with mathematics uh, we already did a little bit of it right recipes ratios cross multiplication did some combinatorics permutations with the different types of varieties of tea and stuff so we have some stuff there that linked up with mathematics but we're going to do a lot more okay and i don't put anything behind paywall everything is creative commons share share like for those of you that were supporting this work for multiple years thank you very much for the support Back to three, three, one, two, one, four. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I hope you're ready for a feast. I am. I'm hungry. <laughs> MC Mike, how are you doing? Chicho, what are you cooking? I was uh, doing tacos and cookies uh, the other day. Nice, nice. I made myself some uh, uh, first time making scones yesterday. Little mini scones. Really good. They came out really good. But today we're cooking beef stroganoff, chicho family style. French fries, fat, meat, onions. <laughs> really good. How are you? I'm doing good, Batu. I'm doing good. Thank you very much. Randall, cooking stream. I look forward to these guys, man. And we are live streaming on Twitch, gang. That's where the chat's popping up. Okay, so if you want to participate in these live streams, in the chat boop twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you that have been coming here on twitch supporting this work subscribing following bits points participating in the discussion and the mods for taking care of business elder god how are you doing yeah be strong elder god you're gonna love this you're gonna love this <laughs> away yay cheryl how you doing welcome welcome and uh, for everyone that's been supporting this work on these platforms thank you very much for the support gang i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor hello my is vk gap and twitter and we do have uh, a discord page you can come to our chat on twitch anytime you want type in exclamation mark twitch and all the links will pop up and the last link is a discord link where you're welcome to join us on a server to talk about whatever it is you want to talk about right if the technocrats and the central power do not want us to discuss things we should be discussing things for live streams when we don't have any visuals which we do today uh, 
Ah, thanks, Solder God. Here are the links to all those platforms, and at the bottom there is boop, boop, beep, beep, the Discord link. Okay, and for live streams where we don't have any visuals, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O, as a podcast, and those podcasts are available in your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And boop, we will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble. And we're slowly getting we got like a handful of people subscribing to us on Rumble. I'm assuming that's how you start getting points automatically. And as soon as the points go up, um, I'm guessing that's how it is. Uh, we'll start uploading there where we can, you know, use up the points to upload videos on Rumble. No delay, no delay. Nice, nice. So it will be this live stream will be up on those platforms uh sensor to pitchu and rumble and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by liking following subscribing sharing uh participating in the discussion and if you're on sensor tube you can support us on sensor tube by joining sensor tube membership and there's a handful of you that are supporting that work on that platform thank you very much for the support gang felix watching this while making roasted vegetables nice homos ah oh, nice and halomoni wraps Hal halomoni wraps mm, absolutely delicious nice chicho we need a homos video we do indeed <laughs> gravity of the situation we do indeed our family recipe for homos is amazing we used to have a farmer's market and people would line up before the farmer's market opened up to buy our homos and every farmer's market we uh, with the family we sold out of the almost we were making gone gone right holy shit i overdosed two days ago i'm fine void what are you talking about just glad i made it out um overdose on what chocolate i can't even think crafter how you doing welcome welcome gang i'm gonna take these guys down we're gonna start uh doing this right away okay let's get into the chop chop there's a lot of chop chopping going on in this live stream okay and uh, papa. i've had my last meal before eight weeks of liquid food feels bad my oh what your last meal before eight weeks of liquid food oof crafter is this something your own choosing gravity situation void sorry to hear that brother i'm a recovering addict myself i know the struggle so is is this serious uh void cocaine and oh dude you're serious an opiate bad bad mix they're on the first of all they're on the opposite spectrum right like they're they're literally water and oil like they're absolutely on the opus opposite ends of the spectrum and if you took it that far dude uh really um count your lucky stars i've had people who i've had friends who ta -ta, done right they checked out uh you don't want to check out it's nice to stick around and have some be strong enough okay glad to have you man mc mike oh nice i just found an amazing farmer's market in calgary i'm done with supermarkets for now yeah I can't wait until they well we have one here going but it's not full on right Felix but we do get from farmers uh, baskets we're still doing that Felix I barely eat pre-prepared or processed food anymore I've fallen in love with cooking my own food for scratch nice nice well I choose to do the surgery so semi own choice okay ah oh, I guess so yeah but sometimes you have no choice crafter you have to right and like modern medicine is not all bad there's a lot of good about it right i think we should just look at which ones we want to take incorporate into our lives right so semi-own choice semi own choice uh electric shepherd how are you doing good afternoon brother chicho good afternoon gravity situation i was a xanax and painkiller addict overdose multiple times i don't know how i'm still here damn dudes lucky 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 a lot of people don't make it and salute to those that have not made it with us either of their own choosing or just roll of the dice right uh may they rest in power we say and 
don't join them anytime soon gang there's a lot of amazing stuff to be done yet okay be careful peace okay gang let's cook it up now i'm gonna be doing a lot of chopping we're cooking uh chicho family style recipe of beef stroganoff we're gonna cut up a lot of onions we're gonna cut up meat okay and we're gonna cut this up fine to a certain degree we got we're gonna cut up mushrooms okay and we're gonna cut up potatoes because we're gonna have it with potatoes not pasta potatoes too many too soon Cheryl what we're first gonna do is we're gonna chop up onions because we've got to get the onions going right away right and then we're gonna add the meat we're not gonna wait until the onions are caramelized what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this up really low right now put some I'm, I'm gonna do it with olive oil gang we're not cooking at high heat okay so I'm gonna do olive oil I'm just gonna put some oil and gang this is not a diet food this is this is this is you need some love right you need some love protein yeah lots of protein you got the starch with with uh, uh, with the potatoes right lots of onions it's coming out of winter you want to power up oh let me turn on the camera as before cameras okay let me turn these guys up you guys uh, so ba -ba 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 -bum. Boom, boom, and boom, boom. We're gonna chop up the onions. I've already added the oil here. Okay, I put this on low, very low. The lowest it goes. Okay, I want to chop some up. I'm gonna chop up a lot of onions, gang. Okay. Let me give my hands a wash first of all. We got the kitty cats sleeping. Salute to the to the witches who were birthed. Salute. We are the daughters. We are the daughters of the witches they couldn't burn. Gang onion time. I'm gonna take off my glasses. So, lots of chopping. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on the prize, okay? On the knife and where, where I'm chopping. I'll try to stay with up the chat, take a look up every now and then. Cutting the onions, my eyes are gonna be teary. Okay. I'm gonna be composting these things. So let's grab these. I hope you guys have good snacks, good drinks. You kick back, chilling. If this was a Sunday, I'd say I hope you have a, maybe a nice comic book with you, reading. Your mic is on, on top form today. Is it nice? Nice. Nice. I've been thinking about. Uh, getting a new mic more heavy more heavy duty but uh, we'll see we'll see you can't go wrong with onions onions and meat they go like like water like chocolate not oil and water and at some point the kitty cats are going to wake up x how are you doing hope you're doing well i'm drinking cream soda right now nice elder god art art bag again for me art bag that's the whiskey isn't it
onion skin is an amazing thing, by the way. On at Easter, we used to color our eggs with onion skin. You wrap it up and you steam it, and the color of the onion skin goes on the eggs. It's beautiful patterns too. Maybe we do for an Easter. It is indeed nice. For me, I went down the cognac route a lot uh, instead of whiskey, even though I've had my share of very fine, very nice whiskey, especially during my cigar days. But cognac is a beast. One advice I can give you is uh, never over drink on cognac. The hangover is brutal, brutal. Uh, it's like wine hangover, but a spirit wine hangover. It's war like it's. It'll be with you for a week. Hard on the body. Let's put these aside. And it's pretty good meat uh, I picked up from the butcher. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Alexa Shepard, enjoying an afternoon coffee with a chocolate dip uh, biscotti. Nice, nice. X, oh wow. Onion skins on eggs look amazing, but how does it work? It, uh, so what you do, you take the onion skins. Now, you cook your eggs, right? You like it's basically hard boiled right because it's easter you play you play that game where you try to break each other's eggs and stuff right but once you cook the eggs wrap them up. i think you cook them first man i gotta check uh you might cook them first i think you you must cook them first you cook them first okay and then you wrap them up in onion skin okay and then you Put them in a pot like this but you put them in a pot with a with those holders where you can put water in the bottom so the eggs don't get wet and then you steam the eggs with the onion skin wrapped all around them and it gives out a crazy beautiful pattern like really it's like it's like tie-dye but all natural done on eggs so you're coloring eggs with onion skin it really at some point I'll, I'll show you guys okay at some point I'll show you guys and it's amazing you're not using dye you're using natural color from onion skins and you can sit there and look at the patterns of the onion skin like all day maybe we do a full-blown ASMR uh, video of it for Easter you should show us I should I should you remind me X we do if you remind me we do okay uh, you can put the uh, clover pansies fern yeah 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 you can put different different leaves and stuff on there too and it gives like the pattern like uh, one of the one of the ones we like to do so you basically use watch this Here, let me take okay I'll show it to you on the next round when I cut up some more you basically use the onion skin as the shell as a holder you put flowers and stuff inside the onion and then you put the egg in it and you wrap it with string and it, the patterns you get it's just beautiful beautiful uh, fern leaves etc on the egg before the skin so between the shell and skin and it leaves the shadow of the plant so cool so cool Cheryl you guys do this you do this yeah very cool I thought it was mainly Eastern Orthodox that did this so we cut up four big onions three big onions we're gonna cut up a couple of more does it come out orange like uh, to a certain degree yeah but then the flowers other things uh, the colors look different right I do that but with uh, beetroots wow very cool that look out 
Do you guys do Easter egg fights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the West? Yeah. Well, I'm uh, Orthodox Armenian, right? I always assumed it was an Orthodox. Yeah, yeah. We do. Armenians do. And you win the other person's eggs. Armenians are into gambling, right? So uh, the pointy end of the egg fights the pointy end of the egg. And then if you don't, you know, if one of your ends is broken, that's the end you fight with. Um, and if you break the other person's both sides, you get their egg. So you, you can walk around <laughs> gathering. And this is what you do. You grab the shell, right? And probably better because the color is gone on this one. So more deeper, right? And then you put flowers, you put the egg, you wrap it all around. And um, paint, right? And man, we used to eat a lot of eggs and you can eat them all. I have to mention, uh, your skill with the blade is excellent. Is it Eldegard? Nice. Nice. It's, uh, I give credit to my geophysics years. Uh, for 10 years, when I went to the field, uh, I had machete, knives. Uh, you go into the bush, uh, you, need, you need blade with you. And I've learned from my mom how to cook. So she's very good with the knife. I'm not fast though, like a professional chef. Because well, I'm not a professional chef. Recycle, recycle. So that's the that's all the onions we're gonna use. Six big ones. Okay. Lots of onions. Lots of onions. I'm gonna kick up the temperature on this guy. Okay. I'm kicking it up to four. Let's cook it up. It is most Eastern Orthodox. A family member uh, by marriage is Russian. Oh yeah, Russians do it. We did this with her and psychedelic ukrainian eggs so synaki synaki i read that as psych psychedelic synaki ukrainian eggs yeah ukrainians do it as well russians do it for sure russians and armenians and romanians would do it i'm assuming bulgarians would do it I sharp, sharpened the knife a little bit uh, today. Not too much. You gotta be careful with onions when you're cutting, chopping them up. Um, because they can slip on onions and potatoes, they can slip. I'm faster, but I'm a chef in training at least. Yeah, yeah. I've seen. I have friends that have been chef, and they go. They're like crazy fast. Hey, come here. Lots of onions, lots of onions. Okay, that's good. Let's put this guy here, let's put this guy here, and let's put this guy here. Now you can add special spices and stuff in this if you want add some turmeric add this and that we just go onions and onions and meat and salt and for sure uh, for those that those of you that can handle peppers if you like peppers peppers is good as well of course All right okay let's give it a little spin So, 
we're done with the onions. Let's put the onions here. I'm gonna bring out a little plate. Have our spatula sit in there, and we're gonna put the lid on this and just let it cook. Peanut butter, peanut butter pumpkin party. Nice. Peanut butter is yummy. Uh, we're gonna cut the meat. Okay, let's cut the meat. I'm gonna use a different cutting board for the meat. Okay. So, let's see. We want this here. Let's move this guy. Let's put this guy here. Get rid of this guy. This here. Put that there. And let's just chop up the meat, okay? I'm not gonna add the meat yet, but we will soonish once the onions get more brown, okay? And here's the meat gang. It's pretty good meat. It's um, it's a certain sirloin. It's a long piece. Uh, what's that called, Elder God? I forget what it is. It's pretty good meat. Okay. I've already given it a rinse, like a wash. And I bought, what I did, I bought a big long thing. And you get a better deal on it. And I have like chunks of it in the freezer now. Right? Sunny Leo. Did your family also grow uh, a wheatgrass basket for the color? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's things you grow and stuff. We used to do a lot more. We don't. We haven't for a while, right? Let's bring this out. Here, let me show you. Vegetarians, I'm sorry. I gave it a rinse this morning. Okay. So we're going to chop this up nice and not too fine, but fine enough. Okay. Let's deal with it a little bit at a time. I want to cut it the same way I do the onions. Uh, well, actually, you want to go with the grain. Knife should have been sharper. Cutting meat is the is the test of a knife, I guess, isn't it? Come here. Sirloin, I think. Is it sirloin? No, no, it wasn't sirloin. Looks looks like uh, rump. Uh, it wasn't rump. What was it? Uh, tenderloin. Tenderloin. I think it's tenderloin. Okay, but well, you can use any type of meat you want. Almost any time. You don't want stewing meat, tenderloin. Yeah, Cheryl, tenderloin. Thank you. While well, you dulled the blade when you uh, scraped off the onions with a sharp. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I should have sharpened it afterwards. At least with a. Um, file right so I'm cutting them up you know this size right just because it breaks down you know what I think this knife is sharper sharpen this guy as well little guy let's see how sharp this is yeah this is better For the long pieces, we'll use the big knife, but. And I'm only getting one hand meaty, right? Here's another one. I was thinking tenderloin, but on on beef, uh, isn't that what 
the filet mignon is cut uh, cut from is, is it always that didn't seem like the right cut maybe it's not i think it was though there's something in your uh, environment that in intimately lets our our low frequency humming noise is very pleasant oh it's my computer <laughs> my uh at the time it was like i wasn't sure what to get but it seems to be i mean if, if i had to do it all over again like three years ago when i bought this laptop to be able to uh, stream i would have bought a little bit more high end right but it's pleasant that's good that's good to know okay i'm gonna use the long one to cut these guys Pretty nice meat, like very nice cut. I like this butcher we go to. They're uh, Moroccan, I believe. No, I'm gonna use the little guy. Let's see this. Good enough. I just tell my butcher, yes, that part, that part. Okay, I just tell my butcher what I'm making, and they hand over the right cut. Ah, nice. I'm spoiled. <laughs> For me, I look at the I look at the meat to see. Uh, like, for me, it's a lot about the look and the texture. Now I have no idea uh, how many ounces this was. Sorry, this recipe is uh, more the process. It's up to you. You can put less onions if you want. My mouth is already watering, Randall. Let's see, let's take off this part. Well, maybe, yeah, let's take off this part. This part will just be chewy. Let's put it on the side. A little bit of chewy is not bad. No, let's take that off too. Right. These things are just chewy, so I'm just taking this off. There's another one here too, but that's okay. Working for your meat is not a bad idea makes you stronger yes. okay perfect all the meats chopped up let me put this here. I'm just going to give this a little spin, the onions. Horace Fis and June? Yeah, I know how to make Horace Fis and June. <laughs> Muhammad. <laughs> Fesenjun is the, hold on, let, let me make sure I got the right one because I mess up my words. Like on uh, Beast Pod, Pod, Pod stream that he asked us to be a guest, I confused Huey with Hampton. Hampton was the one that was assassinated when he was 21 years old by the FBI. Huey was assassinated later on when he was 40 something years. So I mixed up the words, right? Um, and the other one was uh, Mandelbot and uh, something effect. I messed that up. But Fissenjun is the black one, right? With chicken and pomegranate uh, syrup. I know how to make that. Let's put this here. Uh, 
for extra meat stuff that we're throwing away, we have a little bucket in the freezer that we put the stuff in. Right. So Cutting that meat, I'm surprised uh, the kittens haven't woken up yet. <laughs> They're really well behaved kittens now. They're super cool. Very good. So this is what we got. We could measure this, but it's everybody to their own taste, right? You can make the mushrooms more than the meat or the meat more than mushrooms or not even add mushrooms if you want, right? I don't think you could make it without meat though. Well, you could, but so this is what we got, right? Nice chunk, all right, broken down. Okay. Sorry, our vegetarian friends. So I need to wash these guys before I proceed any further. <laughs> My favorite food, is it? Nice, so good, so good. Uh, it was 4 a.m. in the morning. I have trouble remembering my name at that time. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> it was like, what's going on? Got that out of the way and the other one was the mandela effect and uh, the mandel mandela effect and mandel bots i confused it's a selection stream again so let's do this Saw a little bit of an onion skin. I'm gonna see if I can grab it, mix it up, see if we can find it again. Where are you? Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. Got it. All right, there you go. There's the onion skin I wanna get rid of. Not that guy, but we brought it out. Let's take it out. So, I'm going to add some salt, and I'm going to dump the meat in. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Let's use this. It's brown enough, I just want to cook it all together. Okay. You do want this food to be... It's a meaty food game. Okay. I put in maybe half a tablespoon probably will add more later let's dump the meat in. nice chunk to do now this guy is now going to become meaty okay so we're going to keep a note of that Give it a nice mix. I put in on a lot of onions. Okay. I don't know usually if you would put this much onion. Probably not. But I am going to add mushrooms to this as well. So it's going to kick up the volume of this thing. Right? 
smellow vision button. <laughs> right now, it's just basically oniony, but slowly. So let's do this. Let's put that there. Let's put this back on it. And let this, so I'm kick, kicking this down to around four. It was sitting at around five. Okay. So now we've got that part done. Salute, salute. What we're going to do now is chop up potatoes. Okay. Um, I'm going to chop it on here. Sure. Let's just chop it on this board. Ah, no, let's just chop it here. Why not? We're just going to chop it. I'm going to give it a rinse first. It's okay if it was oniony, but that's okay, right? Looks like 25 ounces of beef. I don't know if I don't think it's 20 beef, but I don't know what it is. Elder goes, this, this is little 25 ounces? All right, it's choo choo time, nice. And these guys that are meaty, I'm just gonna throw in the dishwasher. Gang, if I can give you some advice when you're cooking, clean as you go, okay? Keep a sharp, sharp knife, okay? Mine should have been a little bit sharper. And if your dishwasher is full, empty it before you start a large cook. That way, when things are dirty, you can just keep the sink, and you gotta keep the sink clean. You can do assembly line, goes in. Right? And you don't have to wash everything, just throw it in there. How much is beef where you are? Um, I, the amount I bought plus 40% more. So what you saw plus about 40% more. Um, in I know the butchers. And when I got it, she said this much. I went, oh, that's pretty expensive. It was like initially she said $53 or $54. So she gave me the frozen price for it. So it ended up being like $43 Canadian. So what you see here, this would be 43, this would be about $25, $30 uh, worth of meat. Okay. I, Canadian dollars, by the way. So what we're going to do, we're going to chop up. Our knife is washed and we're going to bring this guy here. Now, while we're doing this game, what I'm going to do as well, let me put this aside here for a second. I'm going to turn up, uh, Chu has got the jar. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to put this guy here, the meaty thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn on the oven. We're putting on 420. Okay. Bake 420. My trays are already back there and I'm going to use parchment paper and I'm going to chop up the fries, put them in a bowl, mix olive oil with them, and then put them on a parchment paper. Okay. So let's bring the potatoes over. And especially when I was picking the potatoes, I was picking large ones. That way it requires less, it uh, simplifies the cutting job. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to cut them fairly short. Uh, not short, uh, thin, okay. And these are yellow potatoes. And I'll show you how I end up doing this. Okay. I should have actually done it this way. What am I doing? Usually I go like this. So I sort of made a blunder while talking, but no big deal. And then we go, well, not that fast, but you get the idea. That's good enough.
So what we end up doing is this. So I'm lining up like this. It's all layered, right? You've seen me do this before. And I'm going to cut it fairly thin. That way the fries are done fast and the thin fries get crispy as well. So it tastes pretty good. And what we're going to do, you got these guys, I'm just going to transfer them into my We're just going to do this for a little bit of time. When you get thinner, that's when it gets dangerous. It can slip. Okay. So be careful. I usually end up holding it from both sides. So it gives it integrity. It holds it in place while I give it a chop. Any size. This seems uh, like one of those dishes where you don't need any. Uh, I got some tomatoes. Some tomatoes. And you can do salad. You should do salad with this gang. But uh, I didn't get salad. We don't have any salad right now. Uh, it's winter and the supply wasn't that great. So I didn't bother getting any salad mixes, but salad with this is really good. Uh, but you should have some greens, really. I'm just not making any greens. You should have salad no matter what with anything really. Salad is great. Zakoder, thank you very much for redeeming the points. Just so you know though, at some point we're gonna do uh, auctioning where I'm gonna auction off either Chicho cookies and Chicho comic books and maybe Chicho preserves. So you can use your points for that. So if you don't want me to, because after you use points, um, I have to go in there and redeem them. So if you want to hold on to your points, send me a message. Uh, not right now. Don't let me know now. But send me a message. Well, you could let me know now. But better to send me a message on Discord or a PM. If you want to hold on to your points, I won't redeem them. Okay? Don't give cutting advice. Please don't give cutting advice. <laughs> what was the thing? <laughs> Do you sharpen your knives often? Looks a nice and sharp. I sharpened it this morning, uh, Chicago. Okay, I sharpened it this morning. Um, I don't sharpen as often as I should. That's for sure. I should like I don't sharpen it on a weekly basis or anything, but I should, uh, without a doubt. But this is the most uh, chop-intensive dish that we have. You have to chop up onions, you have to chop up meat, you have to chop up fries, you have to chop up... Uh, everything's chopped. Uh, mushrooms. And this should be sharper, to tell you the truth. Uh, but I just chopped up a whole bunch of onions, as uh, someone mentioned. Hold on, let's bring this up. So it gives out nice water, which is what you want. Right. One of the reasons I put lots of onions in there because the water uh, it gives out nice liquid, right? Bamboo for you, for you one. Thank you for redeeming the points. Sharp is safe, yeah. And one of the most dangerous things in the kitchen is a dull knife. Like seriously. Someone's at the door. Okay. We're going to put the chopping on hold. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay. It might be a delivery or something.
if I'm not back in half an hour, call the police. <laughs> Actually, change that. Never call the police. Check this out, check this out. They delivered food to the wrong house. I have no idea who's, this might be one of our neighbors. So I'm gonna go knock on the door, gang. We've got two neighbors. I'm gonna make sure it's not theirs. Okay, take the blade. <laughs> so we weren't expecting the package, but who knows, right? Uh, so I'm gonna go see if it's one of our neighbors. I'll be back in two minutes, okay. Our neighbors are not home, they delivered to the wrong house. So I just left that out there. Hopefully an animal won't get there. The delivery guy will figure it out, come back, grab it, take it. Okay, let's get the fries in there happened to me today <laughs> actually knock and draw yeah that's what they're doing like dude like did you get the right house what the hell drive by haha <laughs> what someone's going to give him a tip ah <laughs> crazy weird our neighbors okay i'm gonna finish off this one and i'm gonna oil the potatoes put them in the oven okay because we need the potatoes to start getting crispy because this doesn't take long to cook. Let's throw this in here. Now, I got to take a look at the meat. Let's take a look at the meat. Nice. And the mushrooms is gonna give more uh, water as well, right? So we're just gonna let this cook nice and chill. Now, let's take these out of the way. Let me show you how I end up doing this. Did I any knowledge of the package? No, I don't want, I don't want to go for it. Like that to me, I, I, I don't even know what's in there, but it really does not interest me at all, at all. Salute gang. I hope you're having a fantastic day. By the way, this is our blackberry liqueur. Okay. Let me show you. Yeah. 
2020 blackberry liqueur super yummy super yummy it's a taste of uh, summer coming in right very nice very nice liqueur and cooking go phenomenal together so we need parchment paper put these guys okay just foil but I'm not gonna put oil on this okay what I'm gonna do is this watch this I'm do this here so I this is how much potatoes we have right now right now I don't know if I'm gonna chop up any more this might be enough well it's enough for me but uh, 10 10 liqueur 10 10 liqueur this is a 10 10 liqueur so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour oil on this and I'm gonna mix it up okay do you mix it with uh, uh, so no this is straight up this is straight up on the rocks I had it on the rocks. so there's a little bit of uh, a couple ice cubes that have melted here Yeah, this is the channel or my all oh, the liqueur readers are your favorite for a few people. Who knew? Okay. Now I'm just putting enough oil so all the potatoes will be nicely mixed. They'll be coated with oil. And we're just gonna give it a nice mix. I've tried without putting oil on it. It's not good. You need you need the oil. You need to get crispy. Like I said, this isn't diet food. This isn't really healthy food. This is well, no, it's healthy enough. It's meat. You want a nice meat dose and the starch to deliver the protein to your muscles. This is it. Right? Olive oil on the rocks. Did you notice uh, my intentional misspelling of soda? Oh, no, I, ah, system of a down. <laughs> is that what, is that what it refers to? <laughs> no, I didn't notice Gina. Funny, funny. Armenian style, they just be liquid, just, just vodka straight, not on the rocks, sacrilege, just shots. From the freezer though, really good. Okay. Potatoes are nicely coated in oil. That's good enough. Everyone deserves a comfort meal. Yeah, agreed. Nice. Just from the smell, I think I'm gonna add more salt to this, but I'll let it cook a little bit and then taste it, okay? That's chopped potatoes, not chopped suey. <laughs> Wait, what was uh, that about protein? Uh, you, need, uh, you need starch to deliver the protein, uh, sugar to deliver the protein to the muscles as fast as possible, right? If you're working out, if you're working out, so correct me if I'm wrong, Elder God. Sausage, beans, eggs, bacon, nice. Let's do parchment paper. Technology is amazing. The mushrooms gone no the mushrooms haven't gone in yet the mushrooms cook fast so i do that sort of at the end i inject mashed potatoes directly into my muscles for maximum efficiency. you need the protein mashed potatoes are useless insulin transportation insulin is that what it's called Elder insulin transportation i learned that from a friend of mine that was a bodybuilder or he is a bodybuilder And he's a fitness trainer. 
He used to read all this stuff and tell me about it. It was awesome. He was uh, one of my partners for uh, Clothing Optional Beach. And uh, he used to bring reading material and he brought his uh, information stuff. Should, should you ever watch the documentary on Netflix, Risk? About you? I, I think I've seen it. And gang, don't forget. And good timing, by the way. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is the publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org or check out our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. Now what I do, I just spread these potatoes around so they get enough heat so they crisp up. Okay. Take a look. All right. And I just put this in. Any updates on the signs? Yeah, he's not doing well. He's not being treated well. His temperature in the cell drops below zero. It's winter. They haven't given him war cl warm clothes. Uh, that's an unofficial description, Elder God. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. Uh, Anybody that thinks in the in the Western world you will be treated fairly by the judiciary, by the centralized power is out of their minds. They're they're no better than prisons in draconian run countries, right? The UK is a horrendous UK brothers and sisters, honestly, the way they're treating Julian Assange, I wouldn't set foot in the UK right now. If they can do that to Julian Assange, the most important journalist of the century that has revealed such... UK is a backwards country right now. Like, seriously, it's horrendous. Like, unbelievable. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say. Like, like, the rest of the world would be screaming murder 24 7 on news channels every hour you'd have a 10 minute update five minute update of what's going on to julian assange okay if what was being done to julian assange was being done in iran right and it's the uk unbelievable clown world the usa will get there uh with uh bit <laughs> but that's politics we leave that alone Aside from, we're not going to censor ourselves on censor tube for Julian Assange, right? I'm going to put parchment paper, and I got two layers going. I'm going to put two more trays in there of fries. We need lots of fries. And this has got a little bit of oil on it. I cleaned it, but it's good enough. No biggie. No, I haven't spoken to Dirk lately. He's in a... He's living in a different city, you know. Right? He's in Vancouver alone. I invited him to come up here and then we had COVID. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm ashamed to be British, dude. Man, and Canada is no better off. Canada is doing some horrendous stuff as well, right? So, the Five Eye Nations. What a joke. What a joke. Oh, yeah, we should put a timer on here. For the fries that I put in, I'm putting a timer of, let's say, 12 minutes. We're going to check it out. Use the timer on the oven as a reminder to check how things are going. Okay. And if we're going to eat fries, oven baked is a lot healthier than deep fried, right? Barcelona, LC Barca. Uh, my uh, Chicho, my cousin has been in prison for five years at the age of 20 just because of his religion. Iran is not comparable to UK. Uh, Iran is comparable to the UK as comparison of how they're treating their prisoner. Okay. Isolation less than zero degrees temperature cell not giving them warm clothes in the winter for sure 
there are horrendous things happening but the uk the us is it was worse than the uk oh my god the prison system in the us is one of the worst you could go to well it's probably the worst in the western world uh, so next to the uk i think no it's actually the us is worse than the uk the us is worse than the uk oh man i would love to see the two of you just do an eight hour stream together um oh with dirk yeah he's a he's an awesome guy man he's an awesome guy he's an awesome guy i think i need a sandwich haha <laughs> draconian shit fuckery is draconian shit fuckery yeah it is right one more one more let's make lots of fries let's mix this up okay now the meat is basically cooked right it is so this was raw meat i'm getting rid of it i'm gonna grab a new one making enough so we eat well and we have some leftovers and then uh, the meat is going to be more than enough more than enough to eat all these potatoes so later on in a day or two if we want to make more fries we just make more fries right well the Chinese just will just put you in a concentration camp like the Uyghurs uh, yeah but I, I'm not gonna go to China anytime soon I even though I have Chinese friends, I don't have any. Uh, no, actually, I do. Well, no, I won't say anything. Um, because that is a full blown draconian state. All right? But why should we compare ourselves to China? Right? Why not compare ourselves to a humane country? Do you keep a rough track of your calorie? No. No. I. I try to listen to my body, Verdi here. If all of a sudden I feel like I've been indulging too much in something, I stop that thing. So for example, I stopped drinking coffee like a week ago because I was going a little bit too hard. Stop. Cold turkey, right? They beat my cousin every day and he has internal bullying. Do not compare UK and US to Iran. I I'm sorry, Iran is brutal. For sure but we all know Iran is brutal how come no one knows that the UK is brutal how come very few people understand how brutal the United States is right the prison system in the US is absolutely hardcore It's absolutely hardcore how many people have have died in US prisons they execute people that they know it are innocent just the same way Iran does so on that level they're on the same front like in the u.s u.s has the largest prison population in the world 25 percent of the prison population of the world is in the u.s but u.s only has five percent of the world's population okay majority of the prisoners in the united states are there because of cannabis or not majority but a huge percentage no violent crime how could you not even call that draconian i'm from iran it is not a place to live i'm from iran <laughs> anal swabbing for all visitors to china yeah i heard that crazy 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 uh what do we need what do we need what do we need uh we need this this is what we need we need this guy i'm putting this guy in here giving us a little swirl okay cool and our plate was also meaty so we're getting rid of that we're putting this we're putting a neat plate. Cool. And we love to scream about freedom. Scream about exact we invade nations to bring them freedom. What the hell? So that was a good amount of potatoes.
the world was screaming when Iran uh, jailed a Canadian journalist, Canadian female journalist, like years ago. Every day on the news channel, Iran has jailed a Canadian, uh, Canadian Iranian journalist. Iran has jailed a Canadian Iranian journalist. Iran is mistreating a Canadian Iranian journalist. Iran is doing Iran, Canadian Iranian. Sure, horrendous. Agreed. Should have been on the news every day. How come Julian Assange is not on the news every day? Who has more control over information? Horrendous. Horrendous. Touch the stove top. Cold water. Next, we chop up mushrooms. Voila. Private prison system is ridiculous. I get it from an efficiency standpoint, uh, the dollars and cents, but you can't do this with human. You can't. Crazy. Fungi. Fungi. Let's chop up some fungi. Okay. We cut potatoes, it's all good. And we're gonna chop a fungi. Nice. Crickle, crickle, crickle. We got about four minutes to go on the timer, but it's gonna require more. Sunday, 7th March at 8 p.m. PST for next politics stream. Yes, agreed. Yeah, what are we doing talking politics? This is cooking. This is cooking. Now, I don't know how much mushrooms we're gonna put in. But we're gonna try to put a fair bit. Okay. More protein. Increases the volume. I might even freeze some of the stuff because the meat wasn't frozen before, previously. Okay, someone mentioned that it doesn't matter if you refreeze meat, but uh, I'm not cool with it. So basically I line up, but this was Julian Assange discussion, Elder God. As far as I'm concerned, Julian Dis Assange discussion, anywhere allowed. Anybody that doesn't like it can go F themselves, right? Lots of mushrooms, lots of mushrooms. taken <laughs> more mushrooms so we're gonna throw this in there we're gonna chop up more Oh, it's smelling good now. It's reaching a good level. It's reaching a good level. More mushrooms. More mushrooms. And mushrooms is something that I've added on. Our family wasn't really doing it. The traditional recipe. Oops. Way past my bedtime. Hope you'll have a wonderful stream. That the food is awesome and good. Bless. Bless it, Gina. I hope you have amazing dreams. Mushroom season, mushroom season, mushroom season is away. Well, it depends where you are. Fall mushroom season. Kitty cat still passed out. One of them wasn't feeling very well. Via wasn't feeling very well yesterday. And gang, don't forget, 
Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist or check out WikiLeaks.org or a number of other organizations and individuals and groups that are working towards freeing one of the most important journalists in human history. One of them being Action for Assange and they do have a Twitch stream that they live stream. They're one of the few people, there's only two people that we have set up to auto host. One of them is Chelsea Manning uh, for what she did releasing the Afghan war logs and whatnot. And the other one uh, is a group of people that are working towards bringing more um, covering what is happening to Julian Assange and bringing more information to the public light as to how horrendous he is being treated. That's our 12 minutes on the timer, right? So let's check this out. I'm going to throw these mushrooms in there. Sorry, I hope that wasn't too loud. Julian Assange has a nice beard. <laughs> he does have a nice beard. If they don't give you razors, I don't know. Nice mushrooms in there. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. This is looking good. And smelling nice. Let's put this back on there. Let's check on the fries. No, they still have a ways to go. So, we're going to kick this up. We're going to kick this up. We're going to do another 10 minutes. Okay. And... You can cook it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Elder God. Sorry. Sorry about the bang bang. Uh, regarding the fries, you can kick it up at a higher temp if you don't use parchment paper. Parchment paper, paper, temperature max is supposed to be 425 degrees Fahrenheit, right? So I set it at 420 because it's five degrees lower than the 425. If you just use oil and, you know, cast iron pans and stuff like this, or trays I don't I've never seen a cast iron tray but there must be then you don't need you can kick it up at a higher temp so the fries gets done faster okay are those herbs in the cans uh, behind you yeah for sure a lot of herbs that uh, all of those are herbs that we dried like here like for example this is uh, summer mint from um, 20, 2020 last year okay. and here is uh, mint bottom so this is spearmint was in the top of this so this was full of mint spearmint in the top and mint in the bottom from 2020 as well this was I think in the spring so I've already used that much going through the winter right so this was full and we have that much more to go until new mint starts popping up so we dry a lot of our own herbs, a lot of it, like rosemary, we've got, uh, um, yeah, t tons of stuff, uh, sage. My mom has a cast iron skillet tray, very heavy, yeah, very heavy, very heavy. I can't even imagine having a cast iron, it'd be like, oh God, too much. Especially when you're bending in, if you're putting it in the oven. That'd be serious business. I'm definitely going to be adding more salt to this, but let's just check it out. Let the, let the mushrooms cook a little bit. I'm going to cut up more mushrooms too. Like a quarter size baking sheet. Asking all the God. My Christmas gift. 20, the 2010, was it? <laughs> you want to give your mom a workout. And mushrooms, mushrooms. Let's check this out. Nice protein.
that going to be enough mushrooms? I think so. I might go vegan after this. Loud noises. Loud noises. Okay, that's enough mushrooms. That's enough chopping. This guy here. We'll take care of that stuff later. Now, let's close this. Now, the only thing left for us to do is taste test this. Okay, if the salt is good enough, then we're gonna bring out the cream and mix it in. Now the cream, we're gonna do two different styles. I couldn't find the cream that uh, I was able to get, or my mom was able to get in Vancouver here. So I got coconut milk, which on top should be cream. If not, I got another brand, which is cream, that should work fine with this. It should taste good, but it's not the healthiest thing. So I'm gonna go with the coconut first, uh, just to see what it's like. Okay, Chicho, what is a food that you don't like? I, uh, it seems like you enjoy it. I enjoy gravity of a situation. I enjoy, I like everything, but there's one food that I'm not a fan of. And it's weird because I love yogurt, but it's a yogurt soup, Armenian yogurt soup, and it's called Tonapur. And it's got onions, it's got everything that I love, right? Onions, yogurt, herbs, and stuff like this. But I just don't like it. Um, I haven't had it for years, like probably like 15, 20 years I haven't had it. So I might, you know, my taste might have matured enough to a level where I'll like it. But that's the one food that I was like, mm, I'm not into this. Like the skillet. I feel like you've made enough to feed all, <laughs> all of chat. <laughs> Maybe. You guys are welcome to come over. <laughs> Scotty, beam us up or beam us across the planet. So high size, not like a uh, griddle. Wow, heavy, but quite useful. No dairy, no dairy. Oh, oh coconut, coconut, we could put a coconut. Cucumbers, cucumber, cucumbers, amazing birdie here. Cucumber is so yummy. I've never had a meatloaf, really, that I like, really. Oh, we make good meatloaf. Hey, Chicho. Carrots, how are you doing? Carrots by moon. Meat. Man, I'm sure it's great, but something called yogurt soup doesn't exactly sell itself. I know, it's weird. Oh, the flies are getting there. Nice, I should give them a rotation. I'm gonna clean off our, our space here because we're gonna need it. Okay. Coconut is awesome. Coconut is awesome. Let's check this out. Getting there, getting there. We're gonna do a little rotation on the fries. Take a look at this. Look, I need to know how the salt is for this. It's gonna need more salt. Pretty positive about that. But 
let's check it out. Just a little sampler. I'm gonna wait until it cools down a little bit. Ronnie, yo, yo, yo. Vancouver is West Coast. Vancouver is West Coast. Now, let's bring this out. And give this a little rotation. Here's our fries right now. It could have used a little bit more oil, but that's okay. Now, before I do a flip on these, I'm going to pour salt on them. I'm gonna bring her a spatula and I'm gonna do a flip. the timer okay thank you for the reminder this guy goes back now timer eight more minutes okay salute gang salute gang chicho have you considered trading stocks for fun <laughs> i used to brother <laughs> salute <laughs> they're they're pretty good like this Canada is a melting pot. Many different cultures. Many different cultures. Look, okay, let's try our meat. Let's see if it needs salt. Mm. Nice. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. That's it. Mmm, nice flavor. This is gonna be kick ass. I'm gonna move slower now, gang, so I don't accidentally make a lot of noise. Oops, famous last words. I'm adding about a quarter more tablespoon, okay? We're gonna give it a mix. Now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna open up. Now this is giving off nice water, nice juice. If it's not juicy, add a little water at the beginning, right? Now we're gonna have to open up the uh, coconut uh, cans, right? When I type, why is Chinese man in Google images? All the men there have similar beards. <laughs> Do they? they must be wise. <laughs> they are wise. Isn't this what wise men look like? <laughs> now, word to the wise, whenever you get cans, any packaging, but cans especially from grocery store stuff, give them a wash. Uh, just because uh, I've, had, I've had a friend that works in warehouses and stuff and they mentioned that uh, you'd be surprised of how many rats are around. So here's the coconut, right? It's got the cream up top. It's gonna be milk in the bottom. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the meat out. Okay. <laughs> I did okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half the meat out and add coconut to the half. Okay. Just because if I don't like the flavor, I don't want it to be, uh, I want the option to do something else to it. 
right? Let's go slow with this. Let's check the fries first though. The fries are almost done. Let's check it out. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. But while we do this, I'm just going to transfer them into this thing, right? Just a container. Because if I'm going to freeze some of this as well, I'm not going to add the cream to it yet. One more. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to bring this out. Take a look. All right. Actually, let me transfer this into so you see what it looks like. And while we're doing that, let me bring this over. Let's put this in. Timer, timer, two more minutes. It was about three minutes left. I'm just gonna add two more minutes. Let me transfer this over into something that you guys are gonna see. Clear, clear, clear. Oh, that shit looks good. Clear glass. Yeah. All right, take a look. Actually, I'm not even gonna transfer it. Take a look. It's solid enough. Right, so I'm gonna dump all of this cream in there. If it comes up, there it is. Take a look. And at the bottom, Is the cold? It's got a lot of cream. Didn't expect it to have this much cream. So there's still a little bit of cream left. I'm gonna put this on the side for now. I thought it was gonna be much less, so I'm gonna mix this in. Let's see what this is like. That might have been a little bit too much cream. If it is, if it tastes good, then what we're gonna do is just add the rest of the meat in there. Here, I'm gonna take a one chunk out of it. So took one chunk out of that, okay? We're just gonna put this over here. Very liquidy. I'm gonna reduce it a little bit. Keep this going. That's the timer, that's the fries. Let's bring it out. The fries should be done. Take out the fries. There's a couple of burn pieces, which is okay. Officially Elder God certified. So let me do this. I need a place to put this. Oh yeah, before I do this, no, actually we can do this. Uh, I need this guy. So yes, that's good. <laughs> Let's put this guy here. Put this guy here. Here, I'll show you how I end up doing this. You just pick up the thing 
and just dump it in. And the beauty of foil is, it doesn't retain the heat, right? It's a great conductor. I think it's a great conductor. It doesn't retain the heat, right? So, this guy. And I'm gonna move the rest of the potatoes one level up in the oven. Okay. That way they get done faster. Okay, we're gonna have to taste this. Let's check it out. And the burnt pieces are the best way. Yeah, they are good. They are super good. So, and this is a fork and spoon type of meal you're gonna eat, but we'll do both. I'm gonna do fork. So usually you take a plate. I'm just gonna do a little bit of taste on this. I just wanna see what it tastes like with the coconut. Just mixing it like that. Right? I just want to taste it with the coconut just to see what it's like. Right. I'm gonna eat it with the fries. It's got the coconut flavor to it. No doubt, no doubt. CS. Chicho. Hello, Chicho, great to catch your stream again. How's things going? Pretty good. I'm eating uh, Chicho family style of beef stroganoff. Not bad. Not bad. But I'm going to crack open one of those cans of like uh, palm oil dairy cream thing. Hmm, pretty good. Chicho life story. I've shared a lot about my life. More. 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 Now usually you put the meat first and then potatoes on top. Because otherwise the potatoes get all soggy, right? You only want the potatoes to be soggy right when you're eating them. I'll show you on a plate how we may end up making this, presenting this. Without the salad, of course, right? Game. Salute. Peace, everyone. Very nice. But I'm dying to try the other cream. I'm gonna try the other cream. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. And that's the thing with this dish. It's better the next day as a leftover. Mm-hmm. 
where I put up them. I had it here somewhere. I showed it to you guys. No, well, it's a good thing I got two of them. Let's try it out. Okay. Bring a knife up. Take a look. This is also white, very creamish. It's the same style, right? Take a look. So this is the coconut. It's more white. This is the cream stuff. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just put it in a in a bowl here. Okay. Because I wanna see what it tastes like. I'm gonna eat this up with a spoon. And I'm gonna mix it in with the meat. Very good. I'm gonna try some of the fresh meat. The this is the meat without the coconut cream mixed in it, right? Elder God, I'm going to post this once per stream. These are the f uh, films on the watch list for current. Oh, nice. So let's put some of this cream in there. I'm gonna put this much in first, okay? Let's mix it in. You should, when you're putting the cream in there, let it let it simmer with the meat. Now I'm turning this off now. Okay, it's simmered enough. Okay. Let's mix this up. Let's see what the difference is. Super Troopers, nice. We're watching Super Troopers from 2001, Bottle Rocket from 1996, Seven Samurai from 1954, must watch movie. The Lighthouse, 2019, I watched the tra trailer, looks amazing. Gladiator from 2000, Buck Rogers of the 21st Century from 1979. Horror, Horrorville Villa. Hey guys. I'm so excited, I finally was able to get out to stream. Awesome, glad to have you. Super Troopers is the total classic. Mr. Hizakaya, how are you doing? Ah, yes, love your cooking streams. Nice, glad to have you. Let's check this out, let it sit there for a bit. See, the color is the same, right? The color turns out to be the same. Let's have a taste of it. The lighthouse is amazing. Gravity of the situation, really. Yeah, I saw the trailer. I was like, wow. Super uh, uh, Starship Troopers, amazing movie, amazing movie. I've seen it like at least five times. Must watch, I'll watch it again and again and again. This cream, this cream brings out the flavor of the mushrooms more. Okay, let's check it out with fries. I ought to check on the rest of the fries. Oh yeah, they're done. Let's bring those guys out. Forgot to put the timer on. But they look good. They look good. Let's put this over here. Let's bring out these fries. Burnt, a little burnt, but that's okay. I'm gonna put salt on it and flip it. Actually, we're not even gonna flip it. We're just gonna throw it into the. We're gonna put it in our. Bowl. All right, take a look. You just transfer it to your bowl. Fries, fries, fries. Nice. Now we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna bring out the other tray. Nice. 
Yeah, this one's good too. We got some burn, some, some, uh, what do you call it? Some of it uh, just right, some of it little under, right? Give it a good mix. I could give it a little flip. And parchment paper, you can just pick it up. All right. Perfect. Take a look. So that was the amount of potatoes we made. This is how much fries we end up getting. And it's pretty good fries. Fantastic. All right. Very yummy. Okay. Nice. Now, let's try our creamy one. Very good. Add some gravy and cheese to try and make it a poutine. This is basically the same style, right? Should I be reading this quote that you posted on Aldegard? I don't know. Where is it going to take us? Very yummy. And gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the discussion. Thank you for being here. Moss, thank you for taking care of business. Oh yeah, very good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the rest of this coconut cream in there and let it mix up. Pick up the creaminess of it, okay? So we got that much. Here, I'll show you guys what it's gonna look like. Let me do this, let me finish eating this. This is super delicious. Very yummy, very yummy. All right. And I'll make a plate show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> I knew what you were doing. You know what? The coconut one is pretty damn good too. So, I would say just because the health aspect of it, it's not worth sacrificing the health aspect of it to go with the cream one instead of the coconut one. The coconut one does a very good job of it. Okay, very good job of it. Now I'm gonna make a plate for us. Salute, gang. I'm gonna pour us a little bit more blackberry liqueur. ice cubes in there. Oh, let's turn off the oven. We don't need the oven anymore. No, nothing in there. Good, good. It's an easy dish to make. It just requires a lot of chopping, right?
VHS tapes, you're buying VHS? Is it becoming collectible? VHS? This is a blackberry liqueur. We made this during a live stream from 2020. Super delicious. The jalapeno honey is a trip. We were daring each other to take shots of it. How was it seriously uh, horror? Was it he seriously like a kick in the ass? Right, puts hair on your chest. Jason White, how are you doing? What do you think about the new trend in chess with millennials? Also, do you play chess? I do play chess, but I don't know what the new trend is. Uh, what's the new trend with millennials? Like, is there a new trend in chess? Like, there are collectibles to me and maybe a few hundred crazy people in the world. Awesome, those are the best collectibles. You're in the collectible business before the masses come in, right? That's the ultimate collectible. Let me show you how we pour this. The new trend is that so many are playing it lately. Oh, really? Well, good on them. That's awesome. That's a great trend as far as I see it. Watch this. This is what we end up doing when we're pouring. So you pour on top you pour in the middle right it's very gourmet if you think about it okay right. pour it on top right or put it in the middle of the plate or on the side right you take your fries you layer it on top right take some Tomatoes or greens, it's nice to have greens, but tomatoes will do, right? I'm gonna cut up, these are uh, just, uh, what do you call it? Uh, ro uh, Rome something potatoes. <laughs> like this is the way you could present it. little bit of greens would be amazing like mint if i didn't have dried if it wasn't my mint wasn't dried uh, fresh mint would be just kick ass with this right yeah here let me i want to turn off this guy this camera because we're done with this uh, ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Let's see, we grab the right one. Yep. Let me show you. There you go. Over here. There's sauce on it. The juices. You can have like nice bread. I made some fresh bread. Here, let me bring out some of my fresh bread. I made some bread yesterday. Take a look. This is my bread from yesterday. I started baking. You guys put the thought of baking in my head. So I started baking. This is good. Just put a little bit just to soak, soak up the juices. All right? Let's put the lid. And green would, would look phenomenal in this, right? So you got the beef scarf in the bottom, fries on top. You got your tomatoes, some herbs on this side would be amazing, right? Uh, chess, I think any type of uh, uh, any type of game really does uh, raise your IQ. Oh, look at this. I have my cameras in the wrong places. When I was working here, it was showing it over there. Oops, sorry, gang. I've done this a couple of times before. Right? 
but at least this way you see so it worked out okay so you go like this super delicious most definitely will do again hmm I think it would help it would make you smarter playing playing back as far as I'm concerned the two games that any anyone should learn how to play first are chess and backgammon chess because it's chess you think in layers backgammon because you think in layers but you have an opponent that you well chess you do as well you try to play around with but it has that element of chance as, as well which is important tactical thinking maybe but you can't raise your iq with knowledge you can raise your iq with experience can't you elder god i've never done iq tests Sheer focus strategy, and there is some trying to psych out your opponent, as well as as well as bluffing, right? Add a little bit more salt. Like you try to psych them out, you do a move over here, distract them. Look over here while while you do your move over here. Cribbage. What's that game? Uh, bridge. Bridge is really cool. I know a little bit. I know a Persian style bridge game. Hook. Fantastic game. Oh, yeah. Very good. Clunk. If you've ever seen that crazy, I've never seen clunk. It's like air hockey, but you with, with tiny magnets. No, no. I played air hockey. I'm Canadian for sure. We played air hockey, but I've never played clunk. I don't think so. Look at this. Look at this goodness. Like this is like amazing. Mushrooms, onions, meat, potatoes, and salt. Right? Mm -hmm. mm. Hive. I've heard of Hive and I've seen it played. It's very familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to do a refresher. I know that game. Oh, yeah, I know Clank. Played it a. Uh, a lot as a kid really fun game is it super fun i'm pretty dang good at it. really i gotta look this up clunk oh wait a second Oop. ronnie for some reason uh automod didn't like whole whole fame you're making me hungry haha <laughs> good hopefully i'm making you hungry for good food oh i wonder if the food in front of the door is gone i hope so i'm not a fan of getting animals to come to the door to eat somebody else's food. Should we go take a look? I know gravity is situation. I gotta hook up the N64. I just started. Yeah, well, I stink, but I'm working on it. Hive, I gotta look into it. Hive, hive, I've, I know I've played it. Can chess make you better in trading the markets? Yes. But backgammon better. Backgammon will teach you... Um, chess will. But backgammon has that element. I, I used to call backgammon the closest game to life. You could be a phenomenal player. Phenomenal player. And when... 99% of the games you play against a bad player, right? But that 1%, you have to adjust for that. 
In chess, it doesn't work that way. If you're a phenomenal player and a bad player comes on the scene, you blow them out of the water every single game you played, no matter if it's one, 10, 100, or 1,000. You'll win every game, okay, until they improve. In backgammon, it's not that way. It's like life. Well, earlier in the stream, we had, let me cover this up. Earlier in the stream, we had a knock on the door and it was a delivery for food, but we didn't order it. And I knocked on the doors of the, neighbor, the two people that live in the same complex. They weren't home. So when there's food in front of your house, sitting there, you might get animals coming in. Hmm, I'm gonna go check in. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, I'm leaving it there until the end of the stream. I'm gonna pick it up. It's still there. It's still there. Somebody's going hungry. It's not us. <laughs> Salute, gang. <laughs> Elder God, your master of chess. Chess is very... To become like, really good at it, it takes a lot of work. Yeah, this thing, this food is addictive, gang. Two thumbs up. I give it an eight and a half out of ten. A little bit more salt. I was gonna say there might be a recipe attached with perhaps a phone number of the Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, let me go check. Let me go check. That's a good point. Well, the food is totally cold now. Check it out. One time we ordered food and got a completely different order. So at the so at that point we just rolled it <laughs> rolled with it. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Or let's see if there's a recipe. There's no menu attached to it, so Did someone say poutine? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, and there's Canadian, there's ginger ale. <coughs> and no menu. What the hell? There's only napkins, really wet. No menu. Oh, what's this? Oh, plastic fork, recycled. Oh, two plastic forks, recycled. <laughs> I'm gonna show you this. You guys tell me which one, which one looks better. <laughs> this, what's this one? <laughs> oh my God, what is this? <laughs> oh, poor people, whoever ordered this, like this is the other guy. Fries, look at this. What is that? Chicken? 
Oh yeah, it's poutine with with chicken on it and sauce. Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna be eating this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it looks good. It doesn't look good, Ronnie. <laughs> looks good enough for me. I'm late. What we what going on with this takeaway? It got delivered to our door, but we didn't order it. And it's poutine. Like I have no idea where it's from. Like chicken, chicken poutine. Dang. We're just gonna leave this here. And we're gonna eat our beef stroganoff, man. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't have uh, a menu. That's a bad business practice. What a bad business practice, right? Seriously. Dude, I wish I got a food accidentally landed on my doorstep. <laughs> ginger ale, the best part. Ginger ale, the best part. Ginger ale, the best part. Mmm. True, I'd be cautious. My mind created it. Whoosh! <laughs> I need to stop smoking. I'm getting too powerful. I've said too much. Are <laughs> hilarious. Hope it has no poison. Uh, like for real. Yeah, indeed. Delivery man is coming. I. He better knock on the door. Like I can't leave it out there. Like, you know, mice might come and like there's deer around. Like deer come into our yard. I don't think deer will touch it, but like. There's cats at the roam the neighborhood. I can't leave poutine and chicken in front of the door. It'd be like they'll get in there and rip it apart and throw it everywhere, right? That ginger ale sounds good though. Let's crack open a ginger ale. What the hell? No, I'm not gonna crack it open. What if the not doorman knocks? <laughs> Sometimes it's worth the risk. Hunt the deer, hunt the deer, hunt the deer. I'd rather eat some beef stroganoff, gang. Beef stroganoff. Be strong enough. Look at this goodness. Look at this goodness. And the fries are look fantastic. Mm-hmm. Use the bread as a look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. Super yummy. Well, as always, gang, I wish I could share this with you. Barack is a girl. I just chopped up the fries and put them in the oven. Then deep fry them, mix them in a bowl with oil, not too much oil. And then put them in the oven. Super good. Easy, easy to do, and you're not using too much oil, too much craziness, right? Ron, here's an idea. Leave the free food on the doorstep as a bait for a deer. To <laughs> now you have free deer meat. <laughs> Probably a silly question. It's not possible. A viewer ordered? No, because. I, you know, there's no address here. Hopefully they didn't. Yeah, we won't be eating it. Like, I hope the delivery guy comes to the door and knocks. Like, there's no menu. This is super yummy. No. Yeah, that's a dog's rich for sure, indeed. Hey, Troll and Chicho coming cooking. Oh, cooking dream stream. <laughs> I call seven minutes for door, door knock. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, maybe. Salute, gang. Seven minutes. Hold on. Putting a timer on. Seven minutes. Yeah, I wouldn't need it either. Jason White, Chicho, do you think active investing works in the market or are you believer in efficient market hypothesis? Um, depends on the market, all right? Right now, I've said it a gazillion times, it's a trader's market, 
you'd be you'd be crazy to invest a ton of money into the markets right now and a lot of things have gone up it's like a bubble mentality and still hold on to everything you'd be insane to be holding on to everything right take your initial investment out a lot of things have gone up like 10 times five times three times it's inflation for sure but hyperinflation to a certain degree like it's crazy on the, the the movement on the on the markets right so you should be taking some some stuff off the table typically they won't come back for it it's a contamination oh it's a contamination risk that's right they'll just reorder okay okay you can't track back without a menu or a, yeah like there's no menu here what restaurant sends out uh, delivery without putting a menu in there? People who are trying to poison other people. <laughs> Dumb X, Y, Z. Yeah, right now, a lot of the swing traders that I trade with don't even hold stuff overnight or over weekend. Over weekend, the risk level is 10 times, right? I've been reading some new stuff coming from the camps in China and the protests in Myanmar. <coughs> yeah, the Myanmar stuff's going crazy, but politics on, on the weekend, gang. Politics on the weekend. I don't know what to do with this poutine, man. I don't know. What do we do with the poutine? No Billy, no, nothing. Nothing. I don't know. Like... I don't know what the scoop is. Mm, no worries. We did talk a little bit about politics. You know what the beauty about bread is? You can go like this to it. And tomatoes. Can food get going? Is that politics? I'm gonna eat more. This is a food that is extremely dangerous because you can gorge it. Because you can gorge. Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. 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 More. More. Mm hmm. What are you guys eating? I have a stash account. That is a reloadable card. It gives me cents back in stock if that company has a public traded offer. Okay. What does gorge mean? Gorge means just eat, 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 eat. Gorge means gluttony. Keep eating, keep eating. The lamb, random purchases that don't have a home just go into Merrill. Yeah. But cannabis stocks have gone up tenfold. One of them, anyway, the one that I recommended a while ago, actually went up thirtyfold in a matter of like in a matter of like three months. It went up like thirtyfold, two fifty to sixty-seven in like six months. Gorge, eat like, like, like you want to die from it? Oh my god. Ronnie, because benchmark is the index which has been profitable since inception. Cool. Be careful with things that have given you profit always. At some point, they'll turn around with funds anyway. Chicho, what time do you usually sleep and wake up? Oh, it varies. The sleep part anyway. 
But waking up, I wake up anywhere between 4 to 6, uh, 6 a.m. 6 is late for me. Usually 5. 5 a.m. I'm up and, about, up and about. The best way for those uh, that was to retail trade with an inferior access to information, just get a job have a stable income and invest yeah uh, yeah running trade for fun with a small and by the way if you're trading cryptos whatever it is you're trading uh you think this is called investing it's not it's gambling i put out a video on like a little short segment sleep 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 varies Sleep varies. Sometimes early, sometimes late. Anywhere between 10 to 1 a.m. 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. So sometimes I function on like three, four hours sleep. Sometimes I function on five, six hours sleep. Oh, seven minutes. <laughs> Chicha, how important are habits for a successful person, successful life? I guess it depends on your habits, man. Depends on your habits. Uh, I think you should have some passions. If you have passions, you're going to incorporate them to your life on a regular basis. So for me, I cook. That's a habit. I'm doing meditation every night. That's a habit. Uh, exercise, meditation, a little bit of stretching. Uh, I check my news every morning, uh, every day, constantly. Like I, I stay up to date with stuff because I find this a passion. I read comic books. That's a passion. Uh, so habit, uh, change it to passion, I would say very much. But if your habit is to go get drunk every night, that's not a. That's not going to lead to success. Technical analysis is lagging, uh, and it's possibly only have price action has occurred. You may be profitable. <coughs> profitable here and there due to self-fulfillment prophecies nature and technology analysis that is a pop, 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 pop. this was the last plate i'm gonna eat i don't think i'm gonna eat anymore the mushrooms are great i wish i could have healthy habits that turned to passion. You think it takes uh, repetition to get there? I think uh, it just takes passion to get there. Like for me, I love comic books, so I've incorporated into my life. Like, um, I love food, so I've incorporated cooking into my life. I love live streaming, so I included live streaming into my life. I love sharing information, so I included that into my life. There it's not easy to incorporate like meditation stretching is difficult to get into but once you get into it it's amazing and every now and then you're gonna you're gonna stumble you're gonna falter right. i have passion for bar things bad things <laughs> bar things i'm like bar things <laughs> bar things could be bad things bad things i do too i like do it in moderation or extremism in moderation if you, if you got passion for bad things for me if i want to do a, if i have things in my life that aren't necessarily good for me i do them to extreme in moderation passion can get you killed i have learned to repress my emotions in important matter yeah i i agree with the elder god passion can get you killed i've known rock climbers and uh, people who have a passion for driving fast or 
people who who love doing lots of drugs and some of those people aren't around no more they got killed doing their passion think about what it is that you're doing right think about the consequences Yummy. This was seriously good, guys. And this is officially my first time making beef stroganoff by myself. I've usually done it with my mom. And... Um, Thanks, mom. You taught me well. Jason, my chicho. Sometimes we don't have passion, and we just do things out of habit, healthy habits. Sure, sure. But I know there are people out there who say they, they don't have. Like I've come across students that don't have. They say, oh, I have. No, I don't have any passion for anything. But then you dig down, and they do. They just don't consider it a passion because it's incorporated into their lives that they do. Chicho, would you say having a passion for video games is a bad thing? No. No, why would it be a bad thing? If you have an addiction, then yeah, that's a bad thing. Addictions are basically passions that you end up sacrificing everything else in life for to do those things. If you have things in your life that you're sacrificing friends, family, finances, health, other things that you need to do or want to do, for this so-called passion that's an addiction that is a problem right it's a fine line okay be careful be careful right if you find yourself that you're sacrificing your health your finances your family your friends your job you're sacrificing life for your passion that passion has become an addiction. You have a serious problem. If you don't stop or reevaluate your position, you're going to die. Right? You're going to be miserable. You're going to lose your friends, your family, your finances, and everything. Right? <coughs> Mom's good. <laughs> Mom's fantastic. I talk to her every day. <laughs> Same with grandma. My mom used to use uh, noodles for her. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people use noodles. French fries, might as well go hardcore. <laughs> with, with, with pasta, this would be amazing. This is like amazing. Oh, you can't see it. Amazing cream sauce with pasta. Let me put it in a bowl and you see it. Mm, let me put it in a clear bowl, clear bowl, clear bowl. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna put it in a clear board so you guys see. Actually, let me put it in a container because that's what I'm gonna put it into. Let me show you what this looks like. Oh my, oh, there's that thin container I was looking for. That was really good. Gang, super yummy, super yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can put this guy here because we're gonna wash it. Oh yeah, this looks fantastic. Yes. Mushroom soup, uh, uh, sauce, right?
super yummy, right? And here's the rest without any cream sauce in it, right? Because the cream sauce, you don't want to put it in for too long, right? And after eating this much, we're gonna, I want to see by tomorrow if we want to continue to eat more or freeze this. And we might freeze this. Okay. Might freeze this. And for sure, with pasta, this would be fantastic. But with fries, <laughs> it's super good too. All right. Creamy and delicious. Usually most Persian dishes are accompanied with rice, but this one isn't. That's strange. Yeah, I don't know if you would call this a Persian dish. This is our family recipe, the way we make it. And there's a lot of sauce here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to here. Let me show you what I'm about to do. Because this is what we do. Can't waste this stuff. See this? I'm going to throw some fries in there and mix that stuff around and eat that up. Did I get rid of my fork? Oh no, I put it here. So we're gonna put it here and just swirl the fries around, get that sauce out of there because you really don't wanna waste that sauce. It's like delicious sauce. Right? Oh yeah. That's like licking the dough spoon, right? Oh God, you still need a sandwich. You want some poutine? <laughs> Chicken poutine fries thing? <laughs> this is really yummy. Oh my God, I'm gonna eat too much of this. I'm gonna eat too much of this. Your stomach is growling. <laughs> Cheryl, my stomach is not growling anymore. I'm all sleepy. You've had a good gorging session when you're sleepy. Oh my God, Chicho, you're killing me with that food, large bark. <laughs> the stuffed mushrooms caps, hmm, nice. Stuffed mushroom caps are delicious. Amazing. Make this weekend nice. Barcelona. Chicho, you know how you talked about video games. If someone makes money from it, would you still say it's prop? No. Look, uh, yeah, look, just because you make money from something doesn't make it good or right. Right? If you're, let's say you're playing video games, you're making a lot of money. If you're sacrificing friends, family, your health, your mental state, your your spiritual state, your 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 life for the video game to make money, that's problematic. Yes. Video games are just video games. They're they're not problematic unless you choose to make it problematic. Look here, for example, right? A lot of a lot of uh, people uh, like parents I've come across they think video games are this is the fries this is the thing video games are evil they're bad they're this they're this right why do they think that they think that because the dumbass student right is sacrificing their marks refusing to learn mathematics or English or history or geography or they're not doing their part their responsibility in life to get an education right so they're spending all their time playing video games that is problematic right and what that does it gives people that love to play video games responsibly a bad name so it's giving video games a bad name right so those people who are just doing something because they love doing that thing right and sacrificing everything else in their lives for that one thing are giving that thing a bad name 
one thing I've constantly said, there's a lot of people that say, oh, cannabis makes people lazy. Oh, cannabis is bad for society. Cannabis makes people lazy. I go, no, 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 no. Cannabis does not make people lazy. I've known a lot of people that work their asses off. They're some of the most productive people I've ever known in my life that smoke cannabis on a daily basis. You know what makes people lazy? Lazy ass people, right? So whenever I come across someone that smokes cannabis and they're lazy, I go, listen, man, you need to stop smoking cannabis because you're giving cannabis a bad name, you stupid idiot. Okay, stop bringing down the weight of the world on those that enjoy something just because you're a lazy ass, right? And that's not, the responsibility is not just on them, it's on those people who are uneducated that put the responsibility of this person being lazy on cannabis or on video games. It's the same mentality of people that blamed heavy metal music for bad things in the world because they're idiots right people who blame hip-hop for bad things in the world right because they're uneducated right so do not do not put the blame on on anything in life uh, th that people do on things right like alcohol has its benefits but there's a lot of alcoholics right and the people say alcohol bad no alcohol not bad people bad <laughs> right <laughs> sorry I'm going off on this but it's ridiculous it comes up a lot right not people enjoy themselves respectfully indeed and don't blame a thing for people's actions right dub XYZ Chicho meanwhile they throw pet uh, pot under the bus they're drinking their vodka and beer indeed I went off on one person that young guy we're all having a good time playing and he, he he was he was from seattle and he was holding two beers and i said oh yeah cannabis is going to become legalized soon this was in the early 2000s right everyone's Chicho, you're out of your mind i go no man it's coming right and the guy goes oh uh, i'm glad it's illegal and i look at the guy and i just let loose on him i let loose we went back to the table where we were playing pool and everyone i go and I had just met him like a couple of days ago and I turned to the people there and I said who is this moron and one of the girls there had a crush on this guy right so the girl was like what I go this guy's a moron are you out of your mind this guy's an idiot right and the guy was drunk holding two beers oh, I'm glad cannabis is oh. <laughs> sorry is this politics <laughs> Oh, in Seattle, how insane. People are insane. Thank God I got a medical card here in Ohio. Ohio. Gang, should we call the stream? Fun stream. Fun stream. And I got lots of food in me. And I'm full. <laughs> I made the... I made the... Uh, here, let me show you what I made last night. Aside from the bread, I made uh, croissants for the first time. I grabbed... When I was talking with my mom... I grabbed the croissant recipe. They're like little mini cro uh, croissant, uh, not croissants, uh, uh, scones, little mini scones. I got chocolate chip scones and uh, date scone. Okay, it's very crumbly. Take a look. So these are little mini date scones. They're really good. The date one's fantastic. Like you can cr crumble it, right? I would have added double the butter. To tell you the truth. Or not, not double the butter, double the egg. I only added one egg, I would have added two. Okay. That is very good. Tice her back. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate them. <laughs> do you do delivery? <laughs> Yo, Chicho, my lad, what is up? Uh, beef stroganoff on scones and a full Chicho. Really good. Really good scones. I like them. I, I ate some last night with crab apple butter. Oh, so good. So good. Correlation is not causation. Past events does not predict the future. No, but there's fractals everywhere. Gang, thank you for being here. Salute. Okay. Bits. 
if you want to know what this work is about I am I am on somewhere my mouse is whacking out I am on patreon see you on the discord see you on the discord and we're gonna do um, Saturday night we're doing a current uh, we're doing a personal finance live stream starting at 8 p.m. PST and on Sunday night we're doing a current events live stream starting at 8 p.m. PST okay so if you can make those we can go off on different things right uh, aside from that gang I'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this work is about patreon is a great way to do so I don't put anything beyond paywall everything's creative commons and layered on mathematics for those of you that have been supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this so me and I'm pretty sure others appreciate it a lot as well wow nice patreon grab it thanks I can tell the gra graphic <laughs> graphic design is your passion <laughs> laugh out loud Awesome. We are live streaming on Twitch. The funny people you see here, they're on Twitch. <laughs> if you want to be here during these live streams, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. Gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the biz. Thank you for the discussion. Moz, thank you for taking care of business. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this as well. Okay. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, LO Minds, VK Gap, and Twitter. And you can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want. In the chat, type in exclamation mark social, and all those links will pop up. And at the bottom, you'll see a Discord link. And we do have a Discord server where people are sharing a lot of information and uh, just discussing things that maybe, maybe, maybe the technocrats don't want us to discuss okay for live streams when we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as a podcast and those audio files podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes okay and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor tube bit shoot and rumble and if you have enough points to odyssey and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by sharing liking subscribing and if you're on sensor tube you can support this work by joining sensor tube membership and there's a handful of you that are supporting this work on that platform thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of the collective support we're getting here that we're able to do all this work and for me i appreciate it very much again <laughs> matt kerr <laughs> Gang, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in two days if you can make it or three if you can make it. Bye everyone.